being an artist and a curator in Kansas City is all about finding the right place to tell your story. And I thought, what if I could do that about women's rights? What if I could tell a story about artists who are sharing their vision for the world? All this time, the Equal Rights Amendment has been out there for ratification. I think in the 1970s, we only needed three more states to ratify it. And I thought, how unbelievable. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All this time, in this generation, that we don't have equal rights with men. Mm -hmm. And you look around you and see what women are accomplishing, but that one thing is still holding a lot of women back. Probably all of us in one way or another. And I thought, what can I do? I'm an artist. The first one that I did was Susan B. Anthony. We put out a call for art and poetry, and we weren't surprised with the powerful voices that came in. We found photographers, textile artists, and poets. For every woman who was ever told she could not, I march for you. For all the women who sat hunched over sewing machines, squinted through clouds of lint while the dye bled through their veins. For all the women who saved the rags, cut off the buttons, ate the scraps, eking by without a man's wage, I march for you. For every voiceless woman who held her tongue, was seen but not heard, I march for you. Linda Neal Rising, January. 2017. I did not realize how much some of these women went through. Yeah. And when he stepped out expecting to see a crowd, there weren't very many people there. And he asked somebody, where are all the people? And they said, oh, they're over at the Women's March. Alice Paul, she put herself out there so that we could have the right to vote. And she, yet went to prison along with about 200 other women, I think. The prison they sent them to had been closed because it was unsanitary for men to be in prison there. But then they opened it back up for these women. Yeah. They were feeding them rotten, bug-infested food. So they went on a hunger strike and they force fed these women through their nostrils with a tube that was run down into their stomach. The test for whether or not you can hold a job should not be the arrangement of your chromosomes. Bella Abzug The truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. Gloria Steinem, 